Hi, I'm Kirk Miller with AEM Electronics, and I'm here at Motivicity answering some of your questions about our product line. So a wideband failsafe really is two gauges in one as a starter. It's a data logger, and it can be a failsafe device and a warning device. It can be boost and manifold pressure in one display. It has a user configurable low side out or ground out that can actually be used to save the engine, some sort of protection strategy. And has an internal data logger that can give you up to three hours of logging at 20 hertz per channel. And you can log manifold pressure, AFR, and RPM. It's really an amazing little piece and an affordable piece as well. Um, the AQ1 data logger was really born as a component of another product. So we have the dyno shaft, the AM dyno shaft, which has this tremendous resolution and it's a very powerful tool that measures horsepower and torque at the yoke of a slip yoke transmission. The AQ1 data logger was originally going to be a component of that meaning a data destination. So this data can stream out via CAN, and then you can have some other ancillary inputs into this, your analog up to eight channels, that would give you uh, information that would be meaningful to a racer. So here we are, we've got this awesome little logger, and we started looking at the landscape of loggers that are out there, and we saw a place for it in price point, features, and, and its capacity. So we, we talked about our, our AQ1 data logger, we talked about our wideband failsafe, both of those, the software is available on our website, it's free for download. There's never a charge for an upgrade. Everything's there for you. If you want to check this out, you just go there, load it, check it out, call us with questions. So uh, this year, or actually I should say last year, 2012, we debuted a fuel pump. Uh, it's one fuel pump. It's a 320 liter pump that's rated at 43 PSI. That's where we get our ratings, our flow ratings. Uh, the idea is to expand on that product category. But this is our toe in the water. We talk to our distributors, we talk to racers, we talk to teams. Okay, what's popular, what's needed? And of course, one of the first things people ask for is a more affordable solution. So what we did is we went out, developed a pump, and we were able to come to market at anywhere, 20, anywhere from 20 to 30% under current market pricing for the same pump or a pump that's very, very similar in performance. So the big value added here, the big feature is, which is sort of unusual for us, it's price point. Uh, so right now you have, a, you have a pump that retails under $100, and that's, that's pretty amazing for a high-performance pump. Okay, so we have our, our one pump. We're going to expand on that in an area that is really hot for, uh, for tuners and even the street performance market is E85 and ethanol. Uh, the pumps have a really hard time with that, and typically brushes and some of the impeller parts get consumed by the ethanol content. We've designed a ceramic interior pump. We've done a ton of CFD work to make sure the pump still maintains a nice flow working in that environment. So it's a 100% ethanol compatible fuel pump. It's still a 320, but this is our second step. We have other pumps coming. And again, it's gonna be a price leader and a performance leader. We have coils, we have high performance ignition systems. And one of the parts that's growing really well for us is our smart inductive coil. It has a built-in igniter. And what's special about this, it just requires a digital switch to turn it on and off versus having a CDI or something else like that, which can wreak havoc on the wiring harness, EMI noise, and cause all sorts of other issues with the wiring harness and what the ECU is seeing as far as information. In this case, all the energy, all the big buildup, it's out at the coil. It's right next to the coil, so you don't have to worry about EMI. Uh, it's a nice package. It looks very, very similar to an LS coil. And we're seeing applications where it's supporting upwards of 350 horsepower per cylinder with no mag, no CDI. It's an amazing little piece. The, the AEM Motivicity Legacy. It started a long time ago. Uh, I believe well over 10 years now. And uh, it's my understanding that the first desk used by the first Motivicity employee when it was still under pec Specmo was a number of AEM induction boxes stacked up with a door across. So, you know, to talk about be there, being there when it started, we were actually holding the desk up. So that's, that's really cool. Motivicity has been shoulder to shoulder with us. That We've watched their facilities grow and evolve and separate from Specmo to Motivicity. And Motivicity is a, it's an amazing, it's an amazing facility. It really is. So uh, we consider ourselves amazing. I might be slightly biased, but it's, it certainly is fun being involved with an amazing partner.